Strange Darling is probably one of those movies best left unsaid. <laughs> and I'm so I'm basically going to just talk about what you're pretty much going into and a little bit of the back things that happen. I, I highly recommend this this film, especially for those who like new and fresh and independent. Uh, this is this is one for you. This is the movie for the of the summer, and it's gotten a lot of buzz for a great many reasons. Um, but it's also, they say, in six chapters, uh, so it bounces around quite a bit. So if you are not a fan of nonlinear storytelling, don't worry. Uh, actually, the jumping around enhances the story in a lot in a lot of ways. So all of you, go all in. <laughs> Watch Strange Darling, especially when it goes into uh, the streaming. If you can't watch it in the cinema, watch it when it gets uh, to the streaming uh, platform. So with all that said, this movie is, it's, you know, again, it's this has been a summer of independent films that have shined. I mean, they it literally outshined a lot of the big block, summer blockbusters, and I love that. I mean, it seems, seems like the independent film are going strong this year. It starts off with this movie about it saying this is a true life story about a serial killer. Uh, in fact, they're just pulling a Fargo on you or a Texas Chainsaw Massacre on you. And, you know, it just, again, enhances the story a little bit to make it more feel realistic and connected. Um, it was, you know, another interesting thing about it is that it was, it says right at the beginning of the film that this film was shot entirely on 35 millimeter. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why we have to... That's so sad, I think. It's just really, really sad uh, that we have to say this film is filmed entirely on 35mm film nowadays. I know, everything's shot in digitally. That's cool. 35 is awesome, and it has that warm, and I love it. And, you know, the, what's really interesting about this movie is that it was... The director of photography was actor Giovanni Ribisi, He's been trying, quietly mastering uh, the film of, of cinematography for many, many years and also co-founded a 3D conversion company called Stereo D, which now has been rebranded. And so, you know, he's, that's, I think that's what's more impressive. I don't care if he sh shot on 35 or shot it digitally. The fact of the matter, this film looks amazing and he just played with all the tools that he had in his toolbox uh, he pulled from a lot of different uh, eras of filmmaking. You can tell in this film. So it, it's interesting because you feel like you're in a David Lynch movie one moment, and then you feel like you're just in Fargo in another moment. So it's it's all incredibly awesome. I don't know. It's fun. It's, it just it makes everything interesting. And not only that, and I don't know if you're like uh, big on uh, actors from from the, uh, the heyday, uh, which is interesting because these are not really actors from the heyday, but but when you have Barbara Hershey and Ed Begley Jr. in a movie together, I take my money. <laughs> they are fantastic in this movie. I love it when directors bring actors back who you don't get to see very often to do roles like the roles that they have in this film. It just it just adds something to it. There's just It makes it feel better. It makes it feel right. I mean... I don't know. I mean, Tarantino has been doing it for years and there's other directors who do that. And I love it. I, I don't know if it's called stunt can. I don't know what it's called, but it's called something. And I don't care. Keep doing it because Barbara Hershey and Ed Begley Jr. have made a living from a <laughs> name for themselves for a reason. And uh, we just need to keep em embracing them as actors. They shouldn't just like fade away. And I love the fact that they're in this, this film. And that just made my heart incredibly happy. And, I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'm just nerding out, but I just think that's fantastic. So, um, in the end, how do I feel? Um, this has been the summer of independent films, and this is another one that you should rush out to see or stream it when you can, because you know you don't get to see films like this very often. It's very few and far between where you, uh, where word of mouth becomes the player here, and honestly, Strange Darling just kind of snuck in there. And then people just started talking about it and finally came to AMC and I was able to go and don't regret it one bit. And I love talking about it and I can't wait for other people to talk about it. <laughs> so hurry up, go see it. So, and have this conversation with me. These are just my opinions on Strange Darling. 
I want to know what you thought about it and how you feel about uh, Giovanni's uh, cinematography and everything else. Let's talk about Strange Darling. Till next time. So I'm going to have to ask you a question. Are you a serial killer?